Today I'm going to show you how to create a glow in the dark in Adobe Photoshop. First open your background eraser tool from the toolbar. Click sampling once at the top. Open the limits list and select discontiguous. I'll increase the tolerance to 65%. And paint the mid blue background to erase it. Now, just open any selection tool that you want. Then select the cassette tape. Right click and choose layer via cut. Let's name it cassette tape. And the layer below, model. Now, go to file. Place embedded. And place your new background. Adjust the size and position. Press enter on your keyboard. Drag the background and drop it below the model layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon. Then create a new exposure. Make the exposure 2.22. And the gamma correction 0.65. Go back to adjustment layer icon, then create a new brightness contrast. Make the brightness 20. Then increase the contrast all the way to 75. Now, select the model layer. Hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the model layer to make a selection. To select outside, go to select. And choose inverse. Press delete on your keyboard multiple times to remove the excess of the background. Press control D to delete the selection. Click on the adjustment layer, then create a new color lookup. Then clip it. From the drop down, select the night from day. Select the top layer. Hold the control key. And click on the thumbnail of the top layer to make a selection. Go to select. And choose inverse to select the outside. Press delete on your keyboard to remove the excess of the background. Press control D to delete the selection. Right click and convert it to smart object. Press Ctrl J to make a copy of cassette tape. And change the blending mode of this layer from normal to screen. Now, go to Filter. Blur. And Gaussian Blur. Make the radius, 5 pixels. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click the smart filters. Increase the radius to 15 pixels. Press Ctrl J to make one more copy. Double click the smart filters. Increase the radius to 150 pixels. Press Ctrl J to add one more copy. Double click the smart filters. And increase the radius to 300 pixels. Now, select the five layers by holding down Shift key. Then, press Ctrl G to place them into a folder group. Click on the adjustment layer icon, then create a new hue saturation. Then clip it. Check the colorize box. Make the hue, 50. And drag the saturation all the way to plus 100. Press Ctrl J to make a copy of hue saturation. Then drag the copy and drop it below the group layer. Right click and create clipping mask. Click the FX icon and choose the blending options. Now, hold the Alt key to split the black slider and drag it to the right. Press OK once you're satisfied. Press Ctrl J to add one more copy of hue saturation. Then clip it. I'll decrease the opacity to 50%. Select the color lookup layer. Click on the adjustment layer, then create one more exposure. You can see automatically put it into the clipping mask. Increase the exposure to 1.16. Click the FX icon and blending options. Hold the Alt key to split the black slider and drag it to the right. Then press OK. Now, select the model layer. Right click and convert it to Smart Object. Go to Filter. Blur. And Gaussian Blur. I'll decrease the radius to 18 pixels. Select the Filter Mask. 
press Ctrl I to invert. Select your brush tool from the toolbar, and with a soft round brush. Make sure foreground color is white. Let's zoom the image. You just paint the edge, to remove the sharps edges. Select the top layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon, then create one more color lookup. From the drop down, select crisp warm. I'll decrease the opacity to 65%. Select the mask. Then, press Ctrl I to invert. And make sure foreground color is white. And just paint the dark areas of the model at the bottom. And that's it. Thanks for watching.